In today's video, we're going to be looking at an all new video transmitter from Rush FPV. Now, this is an insane video transmitter due to a couple reasons. One, its size. Two, its weight. Three, its features. And four, its price. This is going for 20 bucks. This is just insane. So let's get started here. However, before we do get started, I want to show you something that they have released, which is one of their newest antennas here, as you can tell. And um, it has a latching mechanism. Can you see that? That's just insane. I had to put a magnifying lens on this so you guys could see everything. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And um, yeah, that's just awesome. We're going to come back to this. This doesn't come in the package, but when you purchase their antennas, what I really love about it is they actually give you two in the box, whatever antenna. So these come in MMCX also, right angle and straight. They do have a bunch of them. I'll have them linked down below. We're going to come back to the antennas in a bit here. So let's talk about its features and its weight. Its weight is currently less than 1.5 grams. It's around 1.43 grams, which is insane. Not only that, it's 12 millimeters by 17.5 millimeters. It is absolutely tiny. Look at that. It's just, it's freaking tiny, as big as your nail. That's just crazy. And not only that, we have smart audio and pit mode and selectable up to 350 milliwatts. And again, this is kind of uh, on paper. So we haven't really, we don't have the equipment to really test out the true milliwatts because the things that came out in the market weren't really that accurate so yeah we're just gonna have to go by the word however rush is a very known company to produce some of the best video transmitters out there and a lot of people would agree and you might get some that disagree but most are likely to agree on this now let's get to the best part it's only $20. Budget video transmitters are anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. And now you're getting a proper, super tiny, super legit video transmitter for 20 bucks is just crazy. So I think what's going on here is that the 5.8 gigahertz and also the analog camera kind of manufacturers are kind of getting worried from the DJI stuff. And they're really trying to innovate and drop the prices and make things a little bit better than what they are. So right now, I think we're having a small battle between the digital and the analog market within our market, even though it's a tiny market. But um, yeah, this is kind of one of the things that you might want. Like, for example, you know, a toothpick, this would be insane. They're aiming for racing. Um, I haven't tested it. I don't really race. So, uh, you know, the, someone who races will have to say something down below. So let us know down in the comment section if these do qualify in races. If so, and again, the output power is selectable between pit mode 25, 100, 200 milliwatts and the maximum, which is 350 milliwatts. However, try to keep it at two maybe, but you can still keep it on full blast. But uh, make sure there's a lot of airflow going to this because there isn't really that much to cool it. And not only that, I really love the shielding. The shielding is really important most of the time. So that's really nice that they even incorporated that. So now let's kind of cover how to connect this. It is kind of confusing because you have two camera pads, you have a SW pad, you have two 5 volt pads. And yeah, it can be kind of confusing for some people. Now the camera pad you want to ignore because more than likely you're connecting it through your flight controller's on-screen display. So ignore the camera parts here, like the ground 5 volt camera, ignore this part. You don't need this part unless you don't have a flight controller for some reason. So here's, let's start with the VTX part. This is where usually all flight controls will say video output or VTX. And that's the yellow wire that's going to go straight into this right here. So that's going to be coming in from your flight controller. It's going to be the yellow wire, which is going to go right there. The data is going to be smart audio, so that would go on a T-pad, like a T1, T2, T3, or TX1, TX2, whatever is available, and you set that up accordingly at smart audio, and you'll be able to control its output power, pit mode, and channels through your on-screen display on your flight controller. Next, we need to power this guy, so we're going to need ground, so, you know, the black wire, you would set that up on your flight controller and give it 5 volts. Uh, and that's it. You got power and you got a small, tiny VTX that doesn't take much space. It's much lighter than the camera and it's just absolutely insane. So as far as I know, these are currently on limited supply or the first batch. So you kind of want to hurry up and get some before they go out of stock. Now let's come back to these antennas. These They, they took forever to send me these antennas because I asked for some IPEX ones and they said, oh, just wait, we're going to be making these new ones and uh, we're going to send them to you and you can go ahead and show them to your subscribers. And this is just insane. They didn't even say anything about it. All I wanted were these antennas and IPEX, but they never even mentioned this. I just, when I picked it out, I noticed it. It is just crazy. So it would lock into place. Let's actually test this out. So I'm actually going to show you how these antennas work. So right now it's in closed mode. So we want to open it just like that, where we can see through that hole. 
and we're gonna go ahead and place this on now at first it might seem like this is going to start hitting the components but it's actually not it's it's really interesting and once you latch this thing nothing can take it out until you delatch it so i'm about to plug it in i'm just making sure i get it on camera so now it's plugged in and then i just push back on the latch here so there we go i think that's in yep that's in and voila look at that and look at this i can't remove it it's latched really nicely and it's not touching any of the components even though it's kind of hard to show you look at that you might have to bend these a little because uh i kind of screwed them up when i was when i first got them because i didn't know how to do it right so this is a pretty sick and proper setup for an ipex antenna i really love this and i also <laughs> really love the video transmitter uh look at this it's so tiny i think the weight of these two is the usual 30 by 30 transmitter this is a huge step up from what we're used to and i really really like seeing this and way to go rush uh this is really great the price is great and also the form factor and the features so i really love seeing this and i really hope we get to see more stuff like this in the near future and well everything's linked down below guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video these antennas do come in ipex just like this and also mmcx uh right angle and squared i usually highly recommend you get a right angle uh mmcx because it's always better uh than a straight pass because that usually bumps into a lot of things so everything's linked down below i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys